For the following exercise, evaluate or solve assuming that the function is one to one. So here, if the inverse function of negative four is equal to negative eight, find the original function of negative eight. So check out the prior three problems on this playlist. I went through this in detail. I'm gonna cover it here uh, as well, all right? What they're giving us though this time is they're just kind of changing it up where they're giving us the inverse function originally, and now we have to find the um, original. It's literally gonna follow the same format though, which is nice, okay? So we talked about already that this technically represents x and this technically represents y. So for the inverse function then, right, the x value then is negative 4 and the y value is negative 8. Okay, so in other words, if I had to write the coordinates now of the point here that they're talking about, for my inverse function now, it should be negative 4 comma negative 8. All right. Now. When I have to solve this, the original function's uh, value, uh, when x is equal to now negative 8, what I realize is the question is basically posed to me like this. Right, I have to find the question mark here. Okay, so what I'm trying to now say is that whatever, whatever the old y value was becomes the new x value. Okay, let me put that in blue because that's what I was doing in the prior ones. So whatever the old y value was becomes the new x value, okay? And whatever the old x value was will become the new y value. Now this is equal to something. That's what we're trying to find. So if you know that, and they also told you it's one to one, so that's kind of important, all right? Meaning that only one x has exactly one y, right? The y value here now, became the x. So that means that the x value must become the new y. So the answer is gonna be negative four. That's it, negative four, okay? So with coordinates, it looks a lot easier. The original function now, okay? All you have to do is literally just switch a root. Switch these guys around, that's it. This is negative eight comma then negative four. This is your original x basically, and this is your original y, okay? That's it. That's it. So what is it equal to? Well, the answer is negative four. Okay, that's what that's what it's equal to. So now watch how we fast we can go do the next one. If the inverse function of negative two is negative one, find the uh, value then of the original function when x is equal to negative one. So what are the coordinates here? <laughs> watch how easy this is. The coordinates are going to be negative two comma negative one. Right? This is the x. That's the y. You want to find now. And I don't care if that represents the inverse or whatever. If I want to now find basically the inverse of the inverse, you can think about it that way, right? Then all you got to do is just switch a ruski. Negative one comma then negative two. These would now be the new x and the new y values, okay? So what is this asking? This is asking us what is the y value when x is equal to negative one. Remember, inside of this parenthesis, it always technically represents x. It's always f of x is equal to something. So when x is negative one, what's the y value? Negative two, that's it, negative two, over and done. See how quick that is? Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. If you can, help us out, subscribe, like, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next video, all right? Check out some of the other stuff we got. Take care.